Let's see here. We're gonna today we're going to be working on a secondary heat exchanger, so I'll make a quick video. Um, not too many videos out there, so when someone told me to post something. A lot of people take off the front bumper. We're gonna do without the front bumper today. You don't have to take the front bumper off. So this is probably I don't have much battery left. Uh, let's I'm gonna see if I can get it all in, but we'll do most of it in real time. I might make a part two video on how to do the plumbing. So you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. Ten millimeter T27, which if you're not familiar with this, this is not this is more like a kind of like a star. A German star. Not an Allen wrench. Don't get confused there. Let's see. And you need a couple hose clamps to clamp off your hose so you don't lose any fluid. And then a drill. You're gonna be use some self-tapping screws. These are eight millimeters, and then you'll need to buy 10 feet, three quarter hose, heater hose, and two hose clamps. I'll get into that in a second video. Some of this is already taken off. I ran out of battery, so I'm just kind of making a new video. You got two bolts up top. These are your T27s. You're going to unscrew that. You got some 10 millimeter nuts, one here, one here, take these off. There's two behind the bracket for the hood latch. You will take those off and then voila, this comes off. So you got your T27s. T27s. One there, one here, 10 millimeter, and then two 10 millimeters behind the bumper. So they sit in backwards like that, so you have to reach around, and that screws in to your frame rail. Okay, once that is done, stay with the 10 millimeter. We're not taking a bumper off. I don't know why people take a bumper off, but you have two 10 millimeter nuts. One here. We're gonna unscrew these. One on each side. This way we can pull back the bumper. As you can see, you'll be able to pull back the bumper, drop the heat exchanger in there, and then use some self-tapping screws. Also, you're gonna have to relocate the horn as this manufactured made this heat exchanger a little too wide not enough testing so there's a 10 millimeter nut inside here remove the horn and we're going to relocate that somewhere else not 100 percent sure just yet but it looks like there is some bolts maybe we can mount it right there and it'll kind of fire up in the air but we'll we'll get to that later so now let's install the heat exchanger so you're going to put the latch back the hood latch get that tight what you're going to need to do is bend this tab up on the hood latch take some pliers don't do it when it's on here you'll bend this whole thing take some pliers and just kind of bend it upwards so it makes it even with the heat exchanger pull back the bumper Drop this in, slide it in, slide it forward. Line everything up. And it should drop right in there now. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Just like so. Just give it a nice snug. Be careful when you're screwing in. You don't want to screw all the way down. I don't know if you can see in there, but the bolt, you don't want to screw too far. I mean, you want to make it snug, but you don't want to go inside, which I don't think it will, but that's nice and snug. Go all the way through the uh, heat exchanger. 
So this job should take about an hour. I did 15 minutes and then my uh, camera shut off, so now I'm gonna make a new video. So everything looks good. Before I do my self tapping screws, just make sure the hood is lined up. Close the hood slowly, make sure it shuts and pops back open. And nothing hits. I didn't forget anything. Oops. See if it won't hit. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's just make sure it pops open. Indeed. <coughs> so remember, you don't have to take off this bumper. I'm probably going to have to make a part two video video because uh my battery's going low but let's see how much i can get in so now let's just uh self-tap it'd be helpful if somebody else was holding this so there is a black black hose For something I don't know what this one is for but I don't know airline or something I don't know but anyways you want to make sure that the heat exchanger brackets go underneath it okay. oh, that's a piece of cake right there so let's see here So, pull that hose out. So as you can see, we're gonna tap right into the front bumper. This would be a piece of cake. Piece of cake there. Piece of cake there. Hopefully. All right, so let's get started. Might have to pre-drill it. These are self-topping screws. Hopefully it works. You might not be able to see this part, but
So I think I'm gonna pre-drill just a little hood. A little, little hole. Let me grab drill bit. Okay, so I pre-drilled. Just a hair. You can probably use a nail punch or two. Just pull back. Move that hose. Bam. She's in there. Okay, just like that. Look at that. That ain't going anywhere. So we'll do the other side. Let me pause this. I need to. Eh, I don't know if I need to. You can. Eh, you want to watch that all? Here we go. Okay. Second one's in. Just pull back. Bam. All right. So now all we gotta do is put back in our 10 millimeter nuts. Heat exchanger. It's tight. That eh, ain't moving. Hell no, that ain't moving. And then we don't have to put back our bumper. You can see in here. That's where the 10 millimeter nuts go. Let's see where. Come on, zoom in. I'll do another video later. <clears throat> okay. And then, one over here. When I close my hood, this actually closed. I think I can put the horn right here. So, put that other 10 millimeter bolt in. I don't know if you want to stay and watch. I would stop the video right here, but some of y'all are going to be commenting anyways. Where'd you put that horn? So we'll see if we can figure it out. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't slap back in. No, of course not. Of course not. That's in the way there, isn't it? Show is, man. The plumbing's in the way. Show is. So. I think I'm going to put it right there because the hood closed when I did a test fit and that's going to be that 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, so this is where we're going to put our horn. I don't think it has any effect on anything. It doesn't look like it. So... Put it in there first. I don't know if it's gonna work. Actually it will if I removed this plastic. This plastic, whatever this is connected to for. I don't know. What is this connected to? Nothing, it's just part of some stupid. Oh shit. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. This uh, plastic thing. It's just in the way. It should sit flush. There we go. Just uh, an extra part means extra fucking weight. Now my car is a tenth lighter. 
in the quarter. All right, so we're gonna put that back. So we're gonna mount the horn right here. Oh yeah, see now that's his flush. So the uh, nuts, make sure they have the washer. Can you can't see that? How come you can't see that? Make sure it has the washer. That's the one you need. So we'll stick that in here. So let's double check. Make sure that hook comes. And I don't have much battery left, so yep, I'm gonna have to make a part two on the plumbing video. But anyways, from your heat exchanger, the top hose, you'll, you'll disconnect that. And it'll go up to the top hose. And then you buy 10 feet, uh, three quarter inch heater hose. You connect that on the bottom. Okay, that will wrap around underneath on top of the heat exchanger or underneath wherever you want to put it underneath and then where you removed the top hose the new hose will just hook up in there but this is a basic install on the new heat exchanger most of you people probably know what, what brand this is there's a couple brands out there I don't want to bad talk anybody but they need to work on their modifications a lot better and supply instructions and there you go no uh, bumper removal what did that take me about 18 minutes for the heat exchanger and probably another 20 or 30 minutes so I got the car on jacks jack stands that way I can crawl underneath and get to the plumbing without removing a bumper too so stay tuned for that all right got any uh, comments or questions let me know let's double check Cross my fingers, this got hit. Ah, it's gonna hit. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Bam. It's catching right here. I could snip that off. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Snip this off. Well, actually, I can, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna try it on the. Try this one back here. Oh, that's an eight millimeter. Let me try. I'm gonna try moving it. So right now I got it hooked to the ten. This is an eight millimeter. Uh, looks like it holds in part of your light assembly or something. Um, let me see here. I'm on a stupid piece of shit. Let's see here. Hey. Always something. Always something. Simple instructions would have been great, guys. Sample instructions. No, oh, we gotta figure everything out on these cars. Alright, but anyways. That's all for the heat exchanger. If you want to continue watching the video, I'm just trying to mount the uh, location of the horn. Because it's hitting 
on the pipe here. Yeah, you can see that. Let me double check. Can I squeeze it in there somehow? No. 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 I break that. No, that's metal. You can grind that off. It will slide right back on. But. Uh -uh. Hold it back here. It should fit. So you can either continue to watch or you can stay tuned for the second video. I only got a couple more minutes left and my battery's dead. Let's see if we can knock these out real quick. That's what that boat looks like. It's an 8 millimeter long boat. Stick it through here, your bracket. Put it in. Make sure none of the wires get pinched. It's gonna be close. Let's see if she closes. Nope. Maybe. Hmm. Damn. Hell yeah, it closed. That's a tight fit. But, so that's where you're going to mount your uh, your horn. Damn, that is close. Let's see if she pops back up. Yup. Man, that is close. It's like literally sitting on it. You can probably shave some of this off. Let me have it if I just slam it, babe. Yep, bam, it works. All right, that's where you gotta mount your, uh, your horn. So it's just catching like right here. You can see it. But anyways, that's where you gotta mount your horn. So heat exchanger, stay tuned for part two of the, uh, plumbing which is not hard like I said your heat exchanger take off the top hose route it in here it circulates gets cooled and then it comes out to this here the bottom one where your new hose and I just gonna wrap under here come up where you disconnect the other one and then plug right back in all right, thanks for watching.